In the previous clipping, we learnt about the rebellion in Java. Continuing with it, let's talk about the salmon's challenge. Here, Surantiko salmon was an inhabitant of a village called Randup Talung. He started with the movement because he felt that forest was a nature's gift and everybody had a right over forest. It was no one's property. Therefore, he started with the movement where he protested against the new policies which said that certain forests were reserved and people were not allowed to enter and they could not collect fuel wood or berries. It were the son-in-laws of Semin who actually helped Salmon in this movement. And here the Salmonist actually protested by lying down on the land when the Dutch came to collect taxes. They refused to pay taxes, refused to give any free kind of labor and that is called as Salmon's challenge wherein he infused a feeling amongst the people that the new policies of the government regarding forests are wrong because forest belongs to everyone. Now, next topic is war and deforestation. How did the Second World War bring about deforestation? Actually, the Britishers started cutting felling trees recklessly to meet their war needs in India. When we talk about the Java, it is here when the Japanese occupied this area that they too recklessly started felling trees for meeting their requirements. And the villagers took advantage of such a situation and they started expanding agriculture in the forested areas. And it became very difficult for the Indonesian Forest Service to regain their land after the war because nobody was ready to give back the land. Well, the new developments which have taken place in forestry are conservation of timber has to be given utmost importance. And the localite involvement is very essential if the forest have to be protected. That is why the Indian government has started taking the help of the local communities in the preservation and conservation of forest. And the local communities, they worship sacred groves. It could be the sarnas, the kan or the rai which means that they will not fell out those trees, which again is a good sign. The patrolling of the forest is done by the local inhabitants themselves and the environmentalist and the local forest department too pays its own kind of attention towards the conservation of forest. These are the new developments which have picked up in the recent times. That is all about your chapter on forest. Thank you.